Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Zoom while on your iPad to have a class where you can share your screen and you can use a writing or drawing app to write or draw in real time. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have downloaded the Zoom app from the App Store and then you can open up Zoom, sign in and start a meeting. Once you are in the meeting, you want to look for this share content uh, button and you need to touch the button to open up a menu and this is what you will get. So there is a series of options here and today I'm going to show you this one to share your screen. The other way in which you can quickly share uh, a screen where you can start writing or drawing is if you want to share the whiteboard and this is a function that is embedded in Zoom itself. I will show you how to do this in a separate video. So you can select screen now and once you select it, this will pop up and you will see that it says screen broadcast. And if the red button is on and the timer is running, it means that you have already started sharing your screen. And this means that everything that is visible to you on your iPad screen, all your apps, your homepage and anything that you open will also be visible to your audience. So please be aware of that. Sometimes if you get a different screen, it may actually have the start broadcast command here and you just have to touch the start broadcast to start sharing. So essentially broadcast means sharing. So you can see here that it is already being shared and the timer is running. So now you go to your home screen and you can select any app that you want. For example, I'm going to select this app called Explain Everything. It is very useful and I use it frequently to uh, draw charts or diagrams. And I'm just going to open it. I've opened a project here in Explain Everything and this then allows me to start writing or drawing in real time. And I'm using an Apple Pencil or you can use any suitable stylus to write or draw. So it gives you the chance to uh, teach using freehand to your students. The only drawback is that you're not able to allow your students to uh, have remote control or to annotate while using the iPad to share your screen. So I can write or draw anything that I like during my lesson and when I'm finished I just go back to the home page on my iPad. Either I can press the button or I can swipe depending on the iPad model and then I open up Zoom again and I simply have to stop broadcasting. So here I am back on my home page and I'm going to select Zoom again to open it. And now you see that when I'm in the Zoom interface uh, that it is still ongoing, the broadcasting. So I just need to touch stop broadcast in order to stop sharing my screen. And this essentially brings me back to my Zoom interface and I can then uh, continue my class while still in the Zoom session. Sometimes what is useful is to open up the same meeting both in my PC where I'm for example using a PowerPoint to present a lesson and then I will share screen on my iPad and start writing and I can seamlessly then stop sharing on my iPad and then carry on sharing on my PC in the concurrent meeting. So it is possible to actually be in the same meeting in two devices simultaneously, both on your PC as well as your iPad. Thank you.